everyone. My name is Mary Rose Birol. I'm going to assess or demonstrate the thorax and lungs. First is, we will assemble the equipment and supplies. Centimeter ruler, marking pen, and the stethoscope. Uh, into, ano, introduce yourself and verify the client's identity. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why it's necessary, and how the client can cooperate. Good morning, ma'am. I'm Mary Rose, your nurse today. How are you today, ma'am? I'm good. What is your name? This is Delia Birol. What is your age? 54. Uh, I'm going to assess the thorax and lungs. Is it okay for you? Okay. Um, the purpose of assessing your thorax and lungs for us to identify or observe the condition of your respiratory system. Yes. Hand hygiene and observe other appropriate infection control procedures. Provide for client privacy. If the client is woman, let the client wear a drink. Next is inquire if the client has any history of the following. Uh, family history of illness, allergies, tuberculosis, um, any medications being taken, um, lifestyle habits such as smoking and occupational hazards and current problems such as cough, swelling, wheezing, and pain. Ma'am, do you have any family history of illness? May mga history po ba kayo ng sakit? Noon? Ah, uh, reuma. Um, nagkaroon, mayroon po kayong allergies? Allergies, wala. Um, tuberculosis, nagkaroon po kayo ng tuberculosis? Wala. Um, naninigarilyo po ba kayo or ibang bisyo? Wala. Um, may iba po kayong gamot na tinitake ngayon? Vitamin. Um, uh, meron po ba kayong... Nararamdaman ngayon kay Bayeng or Ubo? Wala. Okay. So, we will proceed to assessing the posterior thorax. First is, inspect the shape and symmetry of the thorax from posterior and lateral views. Compare the anterior diameter to the posterior diameter. <coughs> So, the thorax must be, the normal findings is thorax symmetry, and the abnormal findings is thorax asymmetry. The ratio must be 1 is to 2. Next is, inspect the spinal alignment for deformities by having the client stand. Observe the three normal curvatures which are cervical, thoracic, and lumbar. Bend. Uh, then, um, normal findings is spinal should be vertically aligned. Spinal column is straight. The abnormal findings is the spinal is not aligned and the spinal column is not straight. And the shoulders must be equal in height and the hips must be equal in height. Next is palpate the posterior thorax. If any cyanosis, pallor, or any tenderness. Assess the temperature and integrity of the skin. The normal, the normal findings of it is the skin intact and uniform skin temperature. The abnormal findings is skin lesions and areas of hyperthermia. If the client has um, respiratory complaint, palpate on the thorax areas for tenderness, bulge, or any um, abnormal movement. Avoid the palpation if the client have um, fractured rib or any painful areas. Uh, in such a case, the deep palpation can displace the bone fragment of the ribs against the lungs. Next is palpate the posterior chest for respiratory excursion. Inhale, um, inhale, exhale. In. So, the normal findings of it is must be 
full symmetric excursion and then abnormal findings is asymmetric excursion. Next is palpate the posterior thorax for vocal tactile frenitus. Sabi mo, ano? Blow mo. Okay. Blow mo. 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 So now the normal findings of it is bilateral symmetry of ex of frenitus, while the abnormal findings is the decreased frenitus associated with pneumothorax, while the increased frenitus is associated with consolidated lung tissue and pneumonia. Next is percus the posterior thorax. So we have the sequence for percussing the. Uh, posterior thorax. So, by using the pen, I already marked the sequence. <clears throat> Second, in intercostal spaces. Fourth, sixth, eighth, The eleven intercostal spaces. The for each and the pen three. So the normal findings of it is the percussion notes resonance, except to the scapula. And the, per the percussion notes of dullne dullness on the ribs is normal. And the abnormal findings of it is the symmetry of percussion notes. And the, er, ano, the areas of dullness or, or flatness over the lungs. And next is percuss the diaphragmatic excursion. So, kung saan nagsimula yung nag-iba na diaphragmatic excursion? <clears throat> Ito yung present excursion. Tapos na yung mark. Three inches. Next is auscultate the posterior thorax. Use the systematic zigzag procedure used in percussing the posterior thorax.
the normal findings is bron uh, vesicular or bronchovesicular breathing sounds. Well, the abnormal breathing sounds is adventitious, adventitious breathing sounds. We will proceed to the anterior thorax. Inspect the breathing patterns. So, we will get the respiratory rate. Thirty seconds starts. And the normal findings is quiet, uh, normal breath in rate and that called eupinea, and regular rhythm, and effortless in respiration. The abnormal findings are rates such as tachypnea, bradypnea, apnea, the volume such as hypoventilation, hyperventilation, the rhythm which is change stroke breathings. The is or effort, which are um, orthopnea and dyspnea, and chest movements, intercostal retraction and substernal retraction and substernal retraction. Next is inspect the costal angle and the angle at which the ribs enter the spine. Normal findings: the costal angle must be less than ninety degrees. And the, ang the angle which the ribs enter the spine must be 45 degrees. So here's the costal angle. And the abnormal findings is if the costal angle is widened, it is associated, uh, it is usually associated with COPD. Next is palpate the anterior thorax. Any cyanosis or pallor or any tenderness. Yeah. Assess the temperature and integrity of the chest skin. The normal findings is skin intact and skin uniform temperature. While the abnormal findings is skin lesions and areas of hyperthermia. And if the client have Respiratory, respiratory complaint, as what I said a while ago, palpate the thorax areas for tenderness, bulges, or any abnormal movements. So, avoid the palpation on the painful areas, such as um, fractured rib, if inspected. And in such a case, the palpation may lead to displacement of the bone fragment of the ribs against the lungs. Next is, Palpate the posterior thorax for respiratory excursion. The normal findings is full symmetric thorax expansion while the abnormal findings is asymmetric thorax ex excursion or expansion. Next is palpate the anterior chest for vocal tactile fremitus. So, there is also a sequence in percussing the uh, I palpating the tactile fremitus in anterior thorax. So, sabi mo, blow moon. Blow moon. Blow moon. Blow moon. Blow moon. Blow moon, 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 
The normal findings is bilateral symmetry of fremitus. Well, the abnormal findings is the decreased fremitus associated with pneumothorax while the increased fremitus is associated with pneumonia. Next is um, percus the anterior thorax. So, percussing the anterior thorax have also sequence. So, I already marked na from supraclavicular space. First intercostal space. Second. Third. Fourth. So, the normal findings is the percussion nose resonance is down to the sixth rib at the level of the diaphragm, and but the but flat on the muscle bone, the mass, the heavy muscle and bone, and tympanic tympanic percussion nose on the of ano over underlying stomach. And the normal findings is asymmetry in percussion nodes as well and percussion of the areas of flatness and dullness over the lung area is yun, abnormal findings. And next is auscultate the trachea. So, the normal findings is bronchial and tubular breath sounds, while the abnormal findings is adventitious breath sounds. Next is, we will auscultate the anterior thorax. We will use to the systematic zigzag procedure used in percussing the anterior thorax. In And the last is document findings in the client's record. Thank you for watching.